Okay, in this last video we want to uh, teach you how to um, animate your automata box and then uh, maybe take a video of it in action also. So uh, you, you would do this when you're completely done, which means you need your uh, parts that you're going to create up here for the interaction and things. But once you have those all on there, you can um, animate this whole thing. Um, so the way we're going to do that is we put in uh, one more constraint. So we're going to click uh, Constraint. And we're going to do an angle constraint. So I'm going to click on angle constraint and then click on the directed angle. And then we're going to pick the, uh, the plane that's going through the axle. So you want to make sure you have an, a plane through the axle that's turned on so you can see it. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to click the front of the box also. I just need a straight edge here in front of the box. So I'm going to click that. And right now it's zero degrees in relationship um, to that. You can start anywhere you want. So I'm going to um, click Apply for that. And the, the last constraint I just put on was on the angle. So I'm going to come over, or on the axle. So I'm going to come over to the axle. And uh, so the very last one down here is the one I just put on. So I'm going to just kind of click on that twice. And I'm going to rename that. I'm going to call this Drive. So I can always know where that's at. That's, how I'm, that's what I'm going to use to drive this um, axle. I don't want to actually do it here with my hand. Now, by the way, notice, once I put that constraint on there, I can't actually turn this anymore. So in this particular box, by the way, I, I just put in uh, two new uh, cams. I put in a snail cam and I put in an elliptical cam just to make sure we see how those work too. But I, before, I, um, before I put in that constraint, I could turn this handle and I could move these cams. Now I cannot do that. But what I can do is I can drive it. So I can come here and I can right click on this constraint that I just put on here. And I can actually click drive. That's not because of what I just named it. That's actually what we do with this particular constraint. We're going to drive this constraint. I happen to call the constraint drive also. So we're going to click drive. And then this box comes up. And what it says, it says we're starting at 0 degrees, which means this plane and this plane right here are at 0 degrees. They're parallel to each other. But I'm going to force, I'm going to keep changing this angle between them every so often. So it actually makes this plane go at an angle from this plane. And so it'll actually turn it by itself. So I'm starting at 0 degrees. And it says I can go 10 degrees. I want, to, I want it to go a lot longer than that. Um, if I put in 360 degrees, then it'll actually when I click play, it'll go around uh, one time. Um, let's say we want this whole thing to go around like 10 times. So I'm going to start at zero and I'm going to drive it for 300, um, 3600 uh, degrees. 360 degrees is one time, so times 10, 3600 would be 10 times around. Um, and I can drive that. So if I click the arrow here, watch this, forward it. And there it goes. And you can see the motion. Now, this is kind of annoying and really slow. Um, so we're going to click Stop. I can click this uh, Minimum, Rewind, basically all the way back to the back. It sets it back. If you click on these two arrows right here, there's an interval or an increment here that you can do. Um, so instead of just going like you know one degree per second, really, really slow, you can do like more degrees per second. So I, th I think five is a pretty good one. And so we can do that and we can click the arrow, the forward arrow. And there we go. And I can kind of zoom in here and see what it looks like as it's doing its 10 times. 10 times around. And there it got done. So I can bring this back over. I can rewind all the way back and I can do it again. So what you can do is um, you can center this. Get it all nice. Zoom in a little bit, maybe. You might want to zoom in so you can see your followers up here at the top. And then you'll you'll just come here and you'll uh, click the drive. You get the drive thing open and get it ready to go. And um, what you could do is use the exact same program I'm using right now. It's called Autodesk, Autodesk Screencast Recorder. It's all on all your computers. 
and you can actually open that up and you can take um, you can make video clips of whatever you're doing like I'm making a video clip of this tutorial right now so you can make a video clip of this actual box um, animating so you can get it set up and then you can click make sure you're back to the start you can click uh, start and uh, and get a video clip of your whole box working which you must have you need to have that to put on your uh, website uh, web page on your portfolio for this particular project but you want to do that after you're done with all your uh, other parts um, and also another thing you'll want to do is once you have this set up and ready to drive like this you're gonna want to come in like for this axle um, um, in the let's see uh, like work plane there's a work plane right here that's the one going through the axle so you're gonna want to turn off you're gonna want to do visibility on all these uh, all these different planes so there's the cam down there we got a work plane there we're gonna uh, turn that off we want to turn off all these planes so we don't see them in the animation and then another thing you'll want to do is if you come up here this little color tool you can open this color tool up here and then you can select different parts, like we'll select the handle, and then you come up here and you select some kind of a color, and then you, if you want to apply it, you click the plus button. And then we'll do, this we'll do the axle, uh, we'll make the axle yellow, I'll apply that. Um, we'll select this cam, we'll make it red, apply that, select this cam, make it orange, apply that. I like uh, you to make all of these things, uh, you know, somewhat colorful or something. You can whatever your theme is. You might have a theme, and you can get all these different uh, different colors. That's wood, so I might want to change those, you know, to wood or something like that. Um, make these green up here. Something. Okay. So, and when you're done, you can just click the X. Um, so turn off all the work planes, uh, make the colors all the way you like it. Um, the wooden, the box is wooden. The followers are wooden. You might want you might want to make those wooden, and then um, you come to your drive. You um, where I'm at here. Yeah, I can use this one. Drive. There we go. Right click. Drive. And then you can uh, you can run it and it'll make a nice video with everything colored and all the planes off so you can see a working function of your automata. Hope you like that.